Good morning. And welcome to Holy Trinity. Welcome to this morning's service. Do sit down for a moment, please. I don't know about you, but I'm still buzzing from the fact that we almost won Eurovision. <laughs> Amazing. It's really good to be here and to share in worship together. Today marks the beginning of Christian Aid Week, and so much of what you'll hear about during this service will um, reflect that and focus on that. It's good to see that Mark is with us, which means we've got some fairly traded goods to um, purchase after the service, if you wish to, when you join us for refreshments. Um, and it's really good to welcome our friends here with Mary Margaret from Ukraine, um, who are joining us in our service this morning. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Let's just be still and quiet for a moment. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together as your family in this place. We ask you to make us very aware of your presence with us as we bring you our worship. By your Holy Spirit, guide and inspire us now in all that we do. Keep our ears and our minds open to hear from you, to learn from you, and to be equipped by you, that we may bring glory to your name, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Thanks, Nick. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Let's stand to sing a new commandment. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. Would you please sit or kneel to pray?
Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you your sins and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Risen Christ, your wounds declare your love for the world and the wonder of your risen love. Give us compassion and courage to risk ourselves for those we serve, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You please sit for our first reading. Thank you, Carol. The New Testament reading is Acts chapter 11, verses 1 to 18. The apostles and the believers throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles also had received, received the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him and said, you went into the house of the uncircumcised men and ate with them. Starting from the beginning, Peter told them the whole story. I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. I saw something like a large sheep being let down from heaven by its four corners, and it came down to where I was. I looked into it and I saw four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, reptiles and birds. Then I heard a voice telling me, get up, Peter, kill and eat. I replied, surely not, Lord, nothing impure or unclean has ever entered my mouth. The, vo the voice spoke from heaven a second time, do not call anything impure that God has made clean. This happened three times, and then it was all pulled up to heaven again. Right then, three men who had been sent to me from Caesarea stopped at the house where I was staying. The Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going with them. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen an angel appear in his house and say, Send to Joppa from, for Simon, who is called Peter. 
He will bring you a message through which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit came on me, and as he had come on us at the beginning, then I remember what the Lord had said, John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. So if God gave them the same gift he gave us who believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to think that I could stand in God's way? When they heard this, they had no further objections and praised God, saying, so then even the Gentiles, God had granted repentance that leads to life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Would you please stand? I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to Christ our Saviour. Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Heavenly Father, we long to hear you speaking to us now. So speak to us now. Help us to listen, to hear, and receive your word. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Do please be seated. Our gospel passage is that set for the fifth Sunday of Easter, but it couldn't be more appropriate for the Sunday which marks the beginning of Christian Aid Week, because all that Christian Aid is about is loving one another. Love in practice, love in action. We're going to hear a little bit about some of the, the work that Christian Aid is currently engaged in, particularly with a focus this year for Christian Aid Week on Zimbabwe and, uh, and the work that's happening there. If we could have just the next slide, please, Nick. This is Jessica, and we're not going to hear a great deal of Jessica's story, but just to, to summarise it, she's one of the ones, if you go on the website, you will hear more about her story, find out more about her. But Jessica Mwetzi, um, she herself experienced great hunger in the village that she lives in, in Zimbabwe. The crops had failed and she and her family were on the verge of starvation. But Jessica didn't give up and realized that if she was going to have enough food to eat, the whole village needed to have enough food to eat. And so, as seems to be often the case, particularly in many parts of the world, she got together a coalition of the women in the village, and together they have worked to address the, the needs, the, the food needs of the village. Um, farming together, ensuring that the food that they are able to produce is distributed properly and equitably, and making sure that 
everybody in that village, her family included, has enough to eat and hope for the future. That's Jessica's story. And we're going to hear now Janet's story. Thank you. Meet Janet Zurugo, mother of 10, grandmother of 28, great-grandmother of eight. The four generations of Janet's family, Junior Kadore, great-grandson, Patience Muzengeza, granddaughter, Chipo Zurugo, daughter, Janet Zurugo. Janet's love for her family keeps her going, even in the hardest times. Janet has seen many changes in her lifetime. When we were children, we didn't worry about the challenges ahead. Janet has lived through extreme hardship. Drought has ravaged her village, leaving her community hungry. In the drought, we ate things we wouldn't normally eat. My heart was so painful thinking that my family would die. By God's grace, they did not. Thanks to kind people like you, Janet was given training and drought-resistant seeds. Janet has learned the best techniques to farm in dry land, and her garden has flourished. This project has changed our lives for the better. What makes me happy is to see my family strong and well fed. Janet has become successful through the opportunities she has seized. She is now able to provide for her family. I take them to school because I dream that if they have a good education, they will look after me in the future. God be with me and my family. Please look after them, Lord. Look after my livestock, my husband, and me too. Give me strength to fend for my family.
failed to put that mic back on. My apologies for those of you online, my mistake. Um, what I'm saying is that what we see these stories um, are just a small sample of what life is like for many people in Zimbabwe, which is the country Christian Aid is focusing on this year, um, but also across Africa. And the um, reality is that this is entirely due to the change in our climate and the fact that areas that once were lush and green um, with abundance of crops now experience drought year on year and it's a continuing struggle. And what Christian Aid and its partners are seeking to do is, for the most part, still a sticking plaster. And that's why Christian Aid has, alongside its work with its partners around the world, campaigns tirelessly for governments to uphold the commitments which they have made to try and reduce the um, carbon emissions and the way in which um, the, the world's overall temperature is still rising. Any money that you give to Christian Aid this year will go first to the work that they're focusing on in Zimbabwe, but also to the wider work, which includes many, many other parts of the world, including the um, work that Christian Aid is doing, which takes it right back to its origins, um, working with the, the refugee crisis now in Europe because of the war in Ukraine. Christian Aid began just after the Second World War, working with the refugees from that conflict. And it's still doing the same today. But it's also, as I say, working in so many other parts of the world. And the money you give will help that work. This year, we're not doing a street to street collection. We're asking you to give in whatever way you can. And that means that for those of us here in church this morning, if you brought some cash with you and you choose to put it in the plate as you leave your cash offering this morning, we'll go to Christian Aid. Anything that you put in in the church's gift envelopes still comes to Holy Trinity, but your cash offering this morning will go to Christian Aid. You can also give online either by going to the Christian Aid website, or as those of you who did receive the email that I sent out, um, or got it on, on WhatsApp, will see um, I've created what's called an e-envelope, which means that if you give through that, Christian Aid will know that that money came from the members of Holy Trinity from the Common. Um, if you've got a smartphone with you and you want to do that this morning, then as you leave, you'll see there's a page on the table by the bowl and it's got a little QR code on it. And you can scan that and that will take you directly to that e-envelope and then you can decide how much you want to give through that. So hopefully that's not going to create a log jam by the exit as you're leaving, but you have that opportunity. And what I'll do is I'll bring that with me over to the South Room after everybody's left church, so that if you didn't get a chance to do it here and you want to um, during the refreshments, you can do that as well. And those of you who are online, if you didn't get the email and didn't get that information, let me know um, and I can send it again. Let's just pray now for Christian aid and its work. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Christian aid for those who had the vision in the first place to set up this organization, for those who lead it today, we pray that you would guide them in all the decisions which they have to take, which affect the lives of so many around the world. We thank you particularly for those who are working in Zimbabwe, this year's country of focus. And also for those who are working with the refugees from the conflict in Ukraine. Lord, we pray that you will continue to use Christian aid, its partners, 
and those many other organizations doing similar work to accomplish your purposes and to bring relief to the suffering and aid to the needy. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. Do you please stand? Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you please sit or kneel to pray? Thanks, Jim. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, we pray to the Father. Father God, we rejoice that we are able to abide in you and in your great love. You accept us when we find it hard to accept ourselves and each other. Strengthen the fellowship of your people that we will be sustained in our unity and help us to know that we are truly one with you. We pray for your church, for the dis divisions and disharmony that exist, for inter-church and denominational relationships, and for all your children striving towards the breaking down of barriers and bringing about unity and mutual love and respect for our neighbours and brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of love, we remember before you all areas of the world where ethnic violence, racial hatred, anger and bitterness are part of the culture. We continue to pray for the ongoing situation in Ukraine. And we hope and pray that the war and the fighting will come to an end. We pray for all those who have been lost in the war, for their loved ones and their communities, for who life will never be the same again. We pray for all those working towards bringing peace to the situation and an end to the hostilities. You commanded us to love our neighbours as ourselves. Help us to remember that although we are often far removed from the world's atrocities, that the people involved are still our neighbours and we are called to love them as ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. God of love, we give you thanks for our own homes and families. We give thanks for the love that we're able to both experience and share in our own lives. We remember especially today, those homes where no security of love is felt for families who are facing strife and discord, the homes where there's neglect, abuse and violence, 
and for victims of abuse and bullying, whether at home, in the workplace or at school. Lord, you challenge us to embrace and love a broad community. Help us to always be channels of your peace. Where there is hatred, help us to bring your love. Where there is injury, to bring your pardon. And where there's darkness, only your light and your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. God of compassion, we pray for all those who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. We pray for those who are so weighed down by sickness or pain that they struggle to see and feel your love surrounding them in their darkness and their despair. In a moment of silence, we offer up anyone who is known and loved by us who is in need of your healing and wholeness, wholeness in the loving care and compassion of your touch. <laughs> Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks that you seek us out as your children and lead us and guide us to your eternal kingdom. We remember all who have died recently and we hold in love the families who mourn them. We pray for our loved ones who have passed through their earthly life and who are now in the eternal kingdom with our loving Father. We remember anyone whose anniversary falls at this time and for whom the wounds of bereavement are still raw. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Father, we thank you that we can live in the joyful freedom of your love and we're able to share that through freedom throughout our lives to love our neighbours as ourselves. Merciful Father, accept these prayers our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Do please stand. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. As we stand, let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Bless you. Peace be with you. Thanks, Nick. We remain standing to sing when I needed a neighbor. When I needed a neighbor, were you there? Were you there? When I needed a neighbor, were you there? And the creed and the color and the name won't matter, were you there? I was hungry and thirsty, were you there, were you there? I was hungry and thirsty, were you there? And the creed and the color and the name won't matter, were you there? I was cold, I was naked, were you there, were you there? I was cold, I was naked, were you there? And the creed and the color and the name won't matter, were you there?
When I needed a shelter, were you there? Were you there? When I needed a shelter, were you there? And the creed and the color and the name won't matter, were you there? When I needed a healer, were you there? Were you there? When I needed a healer, were you there? And the creed and the color and the Please be seated. Reminder, when we come to the administration, if you would please come forward um, to where Diana and I will be standing in front of the step here. If you wish to receive the intincted wafer, that is the, the bread dipped in the wine, hold both hands up like that very clearly so that we can see that's what you want. If you would rather not have it dipped in the wine and just the wafer only, then just hold one hand up. And if you would like simply a prayer for blessing, then keep your hands down and your head bowed. Hopefully, we'll get it right. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the, <coughs> sorry, with that, throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. 
Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. 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 We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice, and when we sing together, a line is drawn, and hope reborn, this is the song, the song of kingdom come. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice. When we sing together, a line is drawn, and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. We heard the cries of distant neighbors, the dispossessed, the refugee, and God's command to feed the set them free and set them free we heard the word the new commandment and we reclaimed the prophet's call to love the world without condition God's love for all God's love for all I have a voice sing together, the line is strong and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come, a reckless love that knows no borders, that speaks the truth to those in power, that shines a light. Master, peace.
drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of Kingdom Come. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice. When we sing together, the line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song. Eternal God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. Let's say together. Almighty God. We thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. There you have our notices for the week ahead, and I think I've even got the dates right against the, the days as well this, this week. And a reminder, and you'll get another one in a moment, this is Christian Aid Week. Um, Mother's Union meeting, um, hopefully the technology will work and we will be in the North Room and on Zoom on Tuesday evening. Coffee and chat on Thursday morning as usual in the, in the um, North Room. And next Sunday, well, I'm going to come to that in a moment, so we'll deal with that in a moment. Um, but a heads up that Thursday the 26th is Ascension Day. That's Thursday next week, not this week. Um, and so there will be a service here in church and on Zoom that evening. And then, of course, coming very quickly um, is the... Pentecost weekend and the Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend. And we're planning on Sunday the 5th of June that our refreshments after the service, the service itself will very much reflect the fact it's Pentecost and the Queen's Jubilee. And you'll see, um, we're gonna decorate things to make that very, very clear. Um, but after the service, because it's going to be a gloriously sunny day, the plan is that our refreshments will not be in the south room, but outside the south room. Um, and they're going to be extra special. The plan is to have cream tea after the service. So scones, 
cream, strawberries, jam, whatever. Um, what Jill would like to know, because she's kind of um, coordinating things for us, is who's going to provide the scones. So please let her know as soon as you can um, what you can provide for those refreshments on Sunday, the 5th of June. Anything else I need to say, Jill? Is that it? Brilliant. Okay. Let's move on to the next slide. Thank you. So Sunday the 22nd, next Sunday, is our annual parochial church meeting. I emailed out the report pack, which has everything other than the electoral roll summary in it. You'll get that either later today or probably tomorrow. Um, but please do think about who you might nominate to serve on the PCC. We have one nominee at the moment. We need at least two more. So please think about that. It could be you. Seriously, it could be you. Or maybe it's somebody else who you believe really ought to step up and serve the church in that way. The PCC is a vitally important part of church life. Legally, we have to have one. It is the decision-making body. Um, and there are times when we do actually need to make really quite crucial decisions. And that it's important that that committee, that group is truly representative of the congregation. So please, if you think it might be you or you think it ought to be somebody else, then think and pray about that and nominate those that you wish to. Sarah. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not everybody. We, we haven't had a coup. We're not getting rid of everyone and, and bringing new ones in. <laughs> now, it is, we have um, vacancies for up to three people actually to be elected this year to the PCC. So please um, think about that and. Um, and nominate the people that you think should be there. And do please do your very best to be here next Sunday morning. Because things have changed, when we were in the midst of the, the coronavirus pandemic and lockdowns and things like that, um, the rules were um, amended to allow us to have online voting as well as in-person. This year, we need to go back to in-person. So those of you who are able to join us online will be part of the meeting, but unfortunately, you can't vote online. Um, you have to be here to cast your vote. So do, if you can, make every effort to be here next Sunday morning for the service, including the annual meeting. Thanks, Nick. Those of you who have already said that you are coming know about it. If there's anybody who doesn't or thinks, oh, actually I am free on Monday the 23rd of May, do please let me know today so that I can let Mike Hempel know. Um, Mike um, has very kindly booked us tickets and he's paying for them for us, for those who are going and also arranged transport. Um, so please, if, if you don't know about it or you now realize you can come when you didn't think you could, let me know today and I can let Mike know. Thank you. Also coming up is Thy Kingdom Come, which runs from Ascension Day to Pentecost. You've not heard a great deal about it so far, but you will start to hear a lot more about it now um, and leading forwards. Thy Kingdom Come is an opportunity for us to think about and to pray for, in particular, the people who we know, whether they're family or friends, who don't yet know Jesus as their Lord, and to, to seek to pray them into the kingdom and indeed to take the opportunities that might present themselves to speak to them about the faith which we share and the impact that it could have on them. So do think about that. Again, you can find out lots about that online. The web address is there and you will hear more about that coming up. Thanks, Nick. You heard this song 
during the administration of communion. We're going to play the video. If you feel like joining in, you'll see the words on there. Do join in. There's another song coming after it that you know, and you will be able to sing even if you don't quite pick up this one. But I think it's quite catchy, and I think you might pick it up anyway. Thanks, Nick. I have a voice. You have a voice. We have a voice. When we sing together, a line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. We heard the cries of distant neighbors, the dispossessed, the refugee, and God's command to feed the hungry and set them free. Set them free. We heard the word, the new commandment, and we reclaimed the prophet's call to love the world without condition. God's love for all. God's love for all. I have a voice. You have a voice. We have a voice. When we sing together, the line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. A reckless love that knows no borders, that speaks the truth to those in power, that shines a light on cool.
So may God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all whom you love, now and always. Amen. Let us go in the light and peace of Christ. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Amen. There, in case you need it, details on how to get in touch with Christian Aid. And we're going to listen again to that kingdom song, the song of kingdom come as we leave. Do join us in the South Room for refreshments. Thank you. Bless you.